Disputed Space is a space game that's centered around epic space battles, according to the developer Shiloh Games. Not according to me though, I'd replace the word epic with dull. Welcome, my name is Sir Dutchy and let's take a look at Disputed Space. Graphics Honestly, I looked at this game a few weeks ago and it was seriously unimpressive graphically, but now after some time has passed and the game enjoyed a few updates, I must admit the game looks quite a bit better. It's still not a good looking game really, but the planets are high resolution at least and the ship models look quite good with reasonably convincing destruction. What you see is what you get though, with that I mean that the minute you enter the game, that's it. There isn't much improvement in terms of graphics when you get further along, just different backdrops. Gameplay This game just straight up drops you into the brunt of the action the minute you start the game. There's no tutorial, there's no introductory storyline, there's nothing really. There's just an overwhelming amount of lasers. Lots of friggin lasers. If you've ever dreamed of playing a game that has a ton of lasers, now this is it. Aiming is definitely some next level bullshit with slow moving projectiles and missiles plus some long ass travel distances. Add on to that no real way of accurately hitting your target aside from trying to guide your target and hoping for the best and you got a space game that really doesn't feel great, rewarding or satisfying to play. Now this negative experience could be remedied somehow if the ship would fly great, but alas your ship flies terrible and it's more like a spectator like camera than an actual spaceship. It doesn't feel satisfying to fly, which is shameful because a dull flying ship makes a game centered around space combat also quite boring in itself. It also really does not help that the game barely gives any context for the space being disputed. It's just instant action with no explanation why and because of that it makes you feel completely uninvested and in turn makes the game very boring to play. There just doesn't seem to be any sort of purpose to all the destruction. Sure you got a few interesting objectives each time you clear the space section of hostile ships like destroy the enemy fleet and destroy the enemy fleet. Great variety at least. Now I gotta say I appreciate the effort the dev has attempted to put into this but it's not ready yet for release at all. At this moment it is more like a proof of concept rather than an actual game and as of yet it feels like an absolute waste of time to even play it. Overall score. This time there is no good, only bad. Ship controls and feel. Literally it's like spectating in a multiplayer game. Same fun levels too. No story. Why the hell are we even engaging in these battles? There's no precedent and thus it feels completely hollow and lacks any sort of involvement. Combat. Combat is just shallow. Can't really describe it any better than that. Unpolished. The game is just too early in development to show promise and what they got now can barely be qualified as a game. It's like endlessly shooting bad guys on an open plane with nothing else to do. Closing words. Well, I played and finished about 5 levels and that was more than enough. It's one of these games that shows its true colors within the first 5 minutes and boy are those colors not worth seeing. Given the frequency of developer updates it might have some potential in the future, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. Is it worth it? For 5 euros this game is overpriced given the amount of content, so no, it's not worth it. Thanks a lot for watching guys, my name is Sardachi and I wish you, as usual, a fantastic, hectic and spacey day. Now if you've enjoyed the video, be sure to check out what else I've covered on my channel.